my name is Nicola I am simply stitcher welcome or welcome back to my channel so today it is Monday the 11th of December and this is my frost tube and I'm recording to go out on Tuesday the 12th um, and uh, yeah Christmas is fast approaching isn't it um, I have got six projects to show today and I am going to get crept on because um, I'm on my lunch anyway if you're new around here welcome it's lovely to have you and if you are returning thanks for coming back so let's have a look and see what we have got on the old uh, list today so to this week as i said i have worked on six projects and i've got in 5700 stitches across them which is quite good considering i've had quite a busy week the first one i've worked on is this this is a stitching shelf, artwork by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I'm doing the regular size max colour version. I've done a thousand stitches and it's moved from 17.44 to 17.71%. And I'm just remember where I've worked. Oh yes. So I've worked sort of across here on the bottom of this um, hourglass which is looking rather rather nice but aren't the colours on this just amazing I absolutely love the colours on this so yeah thousand stitches in keep going on that one it's stitched one over one full cross on some 25 count uh, even weave but yeah I, I, I'm loving it loving it loving it I've uh, moved it sort of slightly up on the frame but so the next time I move it some of this will disappear so there we go that's that's that one so second one i've worked on um is this one this is Mally princess freebie again charted by heaven and earth designs um hannah lynn I have done 700 stitches on this one this week because this one has travelled in and out of the office and also was on my live on Sunday evening. Um, I'm not taking it out of the frame because I did that last week so we'll leave it a couple of weeks and take it out again. There's a few hanging and park threads. So yeah, 68.32 to 69.29%, so just a shade off 70%. And as you can see here, we're getting and some more of this bodice in here as well i worked on sort of this bit last night during my live you can hear the scrap man outside they'll be shouting in a minute you might hear him 25 count one over one full cross in case i've not said that already but if i do have if i do forget all the information is in the box below so it's my princess and off she goes into the office this week i think she might be out in rotation later this week I think she's due her regular rotation oh no she's not not quite but anyway so last week i had three office days but i only took her in two days because one of the days I worked straight through and went out on my christmas meal um, which is why she only got a little bit of work right, so that's that next piece that i've worked on is this one it's my lord of the rings stained glass this one was a present to myself from etsy last year and i'm trying to color complete the black but next time it comes up in tune with the stitch with me i'm going to put some color in it um a thousand stitches 4.02 to 4.29 percent and that's where i've worked just some more black it's on 18 count fabric and it's two over one full cross of so cracker so it will be quite large when it's done and that's how it looks as a whole ah, there we go that's how it looks as a whole so yeah mindless black stitching <laughs> which is which is all right i mean to be fair some days i just feel like doing something mindless you know it, it happens that's that one thousand stitches Next one I have worked on, 
No. Wrong one. Here's this one. This is Autumn Waltz. And it's Carolyn Manning Design. Uh, stitching this on some 18 count fabric, two over one full cross. This one's had a thousand, 18.02 to 22.22 percent. So this one is cracking on. Uh, we're a fifth of the way there. So I've got into this corner and I've started working up. And this is one that I'm going to get my sewing machine out, turn it into a cushion front. Find some nice autumnal fabric and make it into a cushion front. That's that one. That will be a finish hopefully sooner rather than later. Because I've got 10 working progresses now and I want that number to go down. <laughs> because when in 2025, when I start the year of the gecko, if I've still got 10 pieces and I'm adding on at least six, that's a lot of working progresses and I'm doesn't sit well with me. Uh Okay, next one that I've worked on is this lovely piece. This is Sailing Fairy. That's Andy walking past. Andy walking past. Artwork is by Nadia Strelkina, chartered and kitted by Sarah over at Paint Free Crafts. Sarah, who is now also kitting for several other designers. So uh, if you are in the, uh, in the market for a kit, do go and take a look because she's got artistry, cross stitch for everyone, charting creations, which she's done for a little while, um, a couple of others, cross stitch studio, and at least one other that the name escapes me. But you know, if you're in the in for a kit, you can't go wrong with Sarah's. Uh, so this one again has had a thousand stitches. We have moved from two point seven six to three point four zero percent. Just show you where about I've worked so you can see the hoop mark. I've worked along here, one at the top. So this section is like the, the turn the mock up. Uh, is oh, do you know? I'm really sorry, fat fingers, uh, pattern keeper. There we go. It's it's that bit there. So definitely sort of, you know, the more than halfway over mark. And that's a full piece. Stitch one over one full cross on some 25 count, easy count. So yeah, another thousand stitches of progress. This could be one because it's actually not that big. This could be one that I could be in for a finish with next year as well. Let's see, shall we? I'm trying to get to at least three finishes if not more done and last but not least is this one and this is daughter of the deep artwork by josephine wall charted by heaven and earth designs and uh, this one was rak to me thank you clara and also Stitching shelf was our AK to me. Thank you, Petra. And thank you to my donor who donated the kit to me. So, the pain free crafts one. Anyway, uh, this is Daughter of the Deep. Uh, having an F design super size max colour because why not? And um, this one has had a thousand stitches. Now, if you tune into my live on Sunday, I was talking about how much stitching I'd done on that day. Um, unfortunately, my life was actually split into two parts as well because of technical problems. But, you know, there we go. I've done um, 300 stitches in the morning on Sailing Ferry. And then I've done 1,000 stitches on this piece. And then I was working on my princess on my live. And the reason why I've been able to get so many done on this piece is because it's blocks of colour. Um, you know, there's no sort of great mystery around it. It's just simply because it's very blocky blue and I've got a thousand stitches done in about three and a half hours, I think it was. Four hours, maybe. So, yeah. Um, this one has moved from 0 0.56 to 0 0.69% and I am stitching this one over one full cross, again on 25 count. And I'm going to sort of do it in 80 by 80 blocks this one each one of 
each piece is stitched in a slightly different way but you know for this one because the 80 by 80 block fits just nicely in this hoop I figured I'll um, I'll keep doing that and that's it that's all my stitching for the week five uh, six projects and uh, 5,700 stitches so um, a couple of other bits and bobs before I go lives lives are getting ever so more popular and thank you to everybody that does take the time to come and view my live. Sunday I did have some technical problems. I started the live stream and then my phone came up with a notification about Google Voice. Um, and in doing that, it interrupted the live stream and it crashed the live stream. I was very fortunate because, you know, the vast majority of you, if not all of you, found me when I went live again. Um, but obviously, you know, the live stream on Sunday was then... You know, when it's published, it's split into two parts. Um, I have no idea why it happened. It was one of those kind of weird, bizarre moments that you just can't explain. Um, but, you know, we got there in the end and we did have a lovely stream. I noticed that at one point I had more than 40 people who were sat in, you know, watching the stream, which is absolutely phenomenal. And I never thought that I would have, you know, quite, you know, an audience on a stream. I thought maybe I'd get like 20 people you know at, at maximum but it's, it's gone far and beyond that so if you have taken the time to join in on my live stream thank you very very much indeed it's much appreciated um in other news uh, oh also with my live stream check my community tab for the christmas and new year scheduling for it as well uh, in other news weight loss one and a half pounds this week keeps going keeps coming off I'm very happy with that um considering that on thursday before i went to my weigh-in i went and had a steak dinner and uh, to still get one and a half pounds off was absolutely phenomenal um so i'm very pleased it's still going down and i plan to sort of continue you know sort of going over christmas period i won't deprive myself but there's no reason to go absolutely bar me either but there we go uh the other thing, I did put out a video last week of my unboxing of my Gecko Rouge kit, which is my prize from Andy. Um, so that is on the channel now, and uh, I'll probably link it in the end screen. So if you've not had a look at that, do go and take a quick look. Um, on the subject of Gecko Rouge, I've got a kit coming for Christmas. Next year, I will have a Gold Club voucher, so I'll get at least one, if not two kits from that. And... Um, <laughs> Andy laid down a bit of a wager last night. Well, it wasn't really a wager, but go on. Well, I think you're kind of regretting it now, aren't you? Possibly. So I said that next year, 2024, it's going to be no new start so I can shift some of my working progresses. I'm going to sit and do the maths and see what I think I can potentially, you know, clear off my working progress pile. But certainly I want my princess done. Autumn Waltz is going to be finished as well. Um, but I'm also looking at She Sleeps. And I was looking at Envy, but now looking at the pattern keeper for it, I'm thinking Sailing Fairy. So I'm going to have a look and see if I can do the maths. Knowing how much I've stitched this year with going into the office regularly, can I still do same or similar next year and see where the figures stack up my my plan is is that from january i'll work 500 stitches on whichever rotation piece it is that day and then anything over 500 i'll put in on mary princess once mary princess is done then i'll do autumn waltz if that's not already complete and, and I'll do it like that. So the, the one then that I'm picking to be the least number of stitches remaining for a finish, I will then, you know, sort of bump up. So the 500 stitches on whichever is my rotation piece, whether it be stitching shelf or Roman Middle Earth, and then concentrate the remainder of the day on, on, on a focus piece to try and get it done. Um, so... I've said no new starts and um, Andy thinks that I won't stick to that. Um, the vast majority of people who we were talking about it on the live stream last night were like, yeah, she will. She'll stick to it. And I'm like, right, okay, Andy, wager. 
uh, if I have no new starts and I complete no new starts, I'm having another Gecko Rouge kit. <laughs> I think his wallet will be crying fairly it soon. It may well be. Because, you know, winning my bet, then Christmas, and my birthday <laughs> in January. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, so if you think I'm going to win, put it down below. Anybody just so that does. Andy can see it. <laughs> anyway, else thinks it. yeah, everybody thinks because I'm determined. You see, I'm a northern woman. Yeah, I'm determined. Anyway, um, right, so that is all for this floss tube. Um, I will have a stitch with me out on Wednesday and Friday, live stream as usual on Sunday. So if you can join me for those, it's much appreciated. The three videos will be appearing on your screen in a moment. If you've not watched them, do take the time to go and have a quick look. Uh, also, Please subscribe to the channel. It is free. And uh, press the, when you subscribe, if you press, if you go on the drop down and select all for notifications, you're notified then of every time I upload a video. If you do want to participate in the live <coughs> stream chat on my live stream, you will need to be a subscriber to do so. Um, so it's, you know, definitely worth remember, uh, you know, being mindful of that. Um, I also want to say as well, just quickly going back to the live stream, it was nice to see some people who had not necessarily commented before who had joined in on the chat this week. So, you know, and it's lovely to see so many people, uh, you know, coming through. So I'm going to go whiz off and get my lunch. And uh, Andy's going to take his phone off my hands and he's got two videos to edit for me now. Uh, I keep him a little bit busy. <laughs> so all I'll do is I'll just say take care, happy stitching, thanks very much for watching, thank you very much for your support and I'll see you on the next one, bye bye for now. <laughs>